I have to Jed Nash. It's all said with your remarks in relation to the late Tom Burke. I think legend is a much overused term, but it is a term I think that we can appropriately apply to uh, Tom and our sympathies go to his family and media comrades. Um, Tónista, uh, back in June, uh, I told the Financial Times that Ireland could live with a small increase in our corporation tax rate. Now, you accused me then of walking into a trap with those comments. You then went on to accuse me and the Labour Party of damaging the national interest. Now, it was clear then that the writing was on the wall when nearly every country in the world was signing up to this process. Four months on, it now seems the government is going to follow my advice and the advice of the Labour Party and sign up to the 15% rate. Will you accept, Tónista, you were wrong in June? And will you have the good sense and indeed the good grace to withdraw your patronising charge? Tónista, it's good leadership to be able to admit when you're wrong and to publicly, publicly acknowledge the fact when you are. Now, we know that there are two pillars to the OECD process. Projections we've seen from the Department of Finance suggest the cost of Pillar 1 will mean a €1 billion Euro impact in 2023, rising to €2 billion in 2025. Ireland has already signed up to Pillar 1, but there's been a change in scope in Pillar 1 and significant movement on Pillar 2 since those figures entered the public domain. So we're all working off old figures. And would you accept that what Ireland may lose on the Pillar 1 swings, we can gain on the 15% roundabout? The corporation tax is expected to come in at €12 billion Euros this year. And a simple straight line increase to 15%, uh, to bring it up to 15%, would potentially bring in an extra 2.5 billion euros. This would clearly cancel out any losses under Pillar 1. But, Tonishta, we have not been able to get access to any costings on this. There was a huge information vacuum for those of us trying to responsibly interpret the government position. Will you confirm that you will publish updated figures today? And will you confirm that when the Cabinet meets today, that the financial impact of these proposals will be presented to ministers to help them make an informed decision on this extremely momentous shift. And can you also confirm that the 12.5% rate will continue to apply to Indigenous Irish firms? So in summation, do you still believe that I and the Labour Party are damaging the national interest? Isn't it the case that we could gain revenue? We could be quids in here. Will we gain on the swings? What we will lose on the roundabouts? And will the 12.5% corporation rate still apply to indigenous uh, Irish firms operating here and indeed to smaller multinational corporations located here because of course Pillar 2 only applies to firms with a global turnover in excess of 750 uh, million euros. Thanks Deputy. Um, um, I understand you're a former trade union negotiator and you understand negotiations as I do too um, and it is deeply unhelpful uh, when somebody on your side, and we were Team Ireland on an issue like this, um, makes concessions uh, on your behalf. Um, it's exactly the same thing if you're a shop, shop steward or a trade union official going in to, make a negoci in to negotiate with the employers and somebody from your team starts making concessions before you do. It's deeply, it's deeply unhelpful and it was damaging, uh, and that is my assessment of the situation. I stand over it. Um, that is if you see yourself as being part of Team Ireland. Uh, in relation to uh, the Cabinet, there will be a Cabinet meeting uh, to be held uh, this afternoon where we will discuss this matter. Uh, no decision uh, has yet been made um, and uh, it will be discussed by Cabinet this afternoon. Um, our existing projections are that um, any change of this nature uh, will reduce our revenue by about two billion a year, um, but that is only an estimate. Um, nobody can know that for sure. It's based on certain assumptions which may or may not be correct and they may well be updated. Um, I don't know if there'll be any uh, financials published today, but uh, I will get back to you on that. Um, what I want to say is that our 12.5% um, corporate profit tax uh, has been a huge success. It's a really important part of our industrial policy and has uh, almost crossed, not entire cross-party support, but strong cross-party support uh, in this house. Uh, over a quarter of a million people uh, work in multinational companies in Ireland. We want to keep those jobs. Uh, and the 100,000 or so indirect jobs that arise from those jobs. Uh, we take in about 12 billion euros a year uh, in corporation profit tax. Um, that is uh, roughly double um, what the average European country does on a per head basis. And it's evidence uh, that in a world where capital and labour and talent and investment and money are mobile, uh, lower taxes can mean higher revenues. Um, it's proof positive uh, of that. What we've always tried to maintain is two things. Uh, competitiveness and certainty. Competitiveness and knowing that our rate will be substantially lower than that of our competitors and certainty so we can say to companies thinking of making a 30-year investment in Ireland, employing tens of thousands of people, 
that that rate won't change, uh, even if governments change, even if the ec economic cycle changes. Uh, and that's something we have to consider now today, uh, because if we agree to a new global minimum rate, um, there is the advantage uh, of no country being able to undercut us. Uh, and some countries have actually undercut us in recent years. Um, and that's something that we would uh, avoid uh, if we were to sign up to uh, a global minimum rate. In terms of our concerns, uh, they relate to uh, the issue of being at least. Uh, we want to make sure that whatever rate is agreed is certain and uh, won't ratchet up over time. Uh, there's the issue around SMEs and mid-caps. We want to ensure that uh, for smaller and uh, middle-sized companies uh, that we can continue to charge the lower rate of 12.5%. We want to make sure that our R&D tax credit uh, is protected, and we also want to make sure that if co countries sign up to this, they actually implement it. We don't want to find ourselves to be the ones who implement it, uh, and our competitors then do not, because that would be a disadvantage to us, uh, and they're the issues that are currently at play. Thank you very much. Uh, Tasha. certainly won't be patronised by you or anybody else in Fine Gael in terms of what represents the national interest. The Labour Party has always put the national um, interest first, and history uh, will show that. Um, the truth is that uh, we could have boxed off the 15% condition very early on and it was you, uh, Tónlista, and your government that created the kind of uncertainty uh, that has dominated uh, this process over the last few months. I've asked you a very simple question. You know, how much extra or less is it forecast that Ireland will raise in corporation tax uh, if we adopt the 15% rate for multinationals? Are you telling me seriously that this hasn't been worked out? that this hasn't at this stage been presented to your cabinet colleagues who are about to make a momentous decision today that will affect Ireland's national um, industrial strategy. This decision today will have very far-reaching consequences for our economy, uh, for jobs and for business. And will you commit later on today, having presented the figures to cabinet members, if you are prepared to do that, that those figures will be published and shared with members of this House? Thanks, Deputy. I think that um, Minister Donoghue, both as Finance Minister and as Head of the Eurogroup, handled these, handled these negotiations very well uh, and has made sure um, that we got the concessions and protections that we wanted. Uh, had we folded earlier, um, as uh, perhaps you would have done were you in government, I don't think he would have secured, I don't think he would have been able to secure uh, the reassurances that he has secured in the past couple of weeks because huge efforts were made by other countries uh, to get us into the tent uh, and we had our price for that. Uh, in relation to uh, the cabinet meeting today, um, the most recent projections that I've seen, and they may have changed, um, the most recent projections I, I've seen is our estimate, and it is only an estimate, um, that we would lose in the region of two billion a year uh, in revenue. Um, but nobody knows that for sure. Uh, nobody predicted that after the last range of changes we made, that corporation profit tax um, receipts would soar. Um, there are so many variables. It's very difficult to know, but uh, uh, if it is possible, and it's a matter for Minister of Finance to publish that information, uh, I see no reason why we would not. Good market. Moving on.